Um, I want to thank everybody for coming today, and uh, I'm joined by Governor Brewer, Mayor Scruggs of Glendale, Mayor LaVault of Youngtown, Mayor Schof, Litchfield Park, Mayor Cavanaugh of Goodyear, uh, Senator John Nelson, uh, who has worked so hard on our fighter country partnership in Luke Air Force Base. Uh, Charlie Fredericks, our fighter country partnership is here. And Steve Yamamori of fighter country partnership, as well as Rusty Mitchell. All of these people behind me uh, are responsible for a great event in, uh, uh, in our state. And that is, of course, the announcement made by the United States Air Force that the F-35 will have determined that Luke Air Force Base best fulfills its needs in support of the F-35 training mission. Uh, our state is hurting right now. Luke Air Force Base and our other military bases throughout our state are very important to our economy. There's 8,000 civilian jobs at Luke Air Force Base. Uh, Luke Air Force Base contributes $2.2 million to our economy every year. And our governor and our mayors in the West Valley and our Maricopa County supervisors have played a key role in making sure that we have created the environment which has made Luke Air Force Base the premier base for training of the F-35, which as we know is the aircraft of the future for all three Army uh, Air Force, excuse me, Air Force and Marine Corps. So, we're very pleased at the Air Force's announcement. It means that Luke Air Force Base and the Goldwater Rangers ranges will be remain key elements in training the finest Air Force in the world. Now, this decision is, uh, uh, is significant, uh, but also there has to be an environmental impact statement made and um, based on that, which would be completed probably a draft in October of this year, a follow through in 2011, and the Air Force plans to issue a final record of decision in June 2011. Initially, there would be as many as 72 aircraft, and they will study the impact for having as many as six squadrons of 24 aircraft each. And uh, there will be two of the F-16 squadrons going to Holloman Air Force Base, probably at the end of 2011. F-16 uh, foreign training will continue at, uh, at Tucson International Airport. It's very important to note that uh, two nations, both the Netherlands and Singapore, have announced that they will train their F-16 pilots there. I foresee F-16 training at Tucson International of Foreign Training of Pilots for many years to come, and then uh, we will have uh, the F-35, I'm confident, training take place as well for foreign sales that will begin probably sometime in several years. I want to emphasize again, one of the things that these mayors have done so well and worked so hard is resisted the zoning decisions which would have caused encroachment at Luke Air Force Base. A number of years ago, Williams Air Force Base in the East Valley was closed, and it was closed primarily because of encroachment. So I'm proud of the mayors. I'm proud of the governor's leadership. And I'm proud of the Maricopa County supervisors who have made tough decisions where they probably could have seen increases in revenue if they had approved construction of uh, buildings and other areas which would have encroached on Luke Air Force Base. We're in two wars. And the fact is that we are so proud that one of the primary instruments in defending this nation, the premier aircraft of the United States Air Force, will now be located at Luke Air Force Base. And I might mention also another aspect of the contributions that the mayors and the governor have made is that they've made Arizona a wonderful place for our Air Force personnel and our military personnel to live and work. That matters with an all-volunteer force.